Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a simple crosshair inside of Unreal Engine 4. So with this crosshair we're going to have it with a little bit of interaction. What I mean by that is when the player is actually zooming in, so when they're aiming down their sights, we are going to make it disappear so they can see their iron sights a little bit more clearer. Now one thing that I do want to mention before I do go ahead with this video is I actually have a crosshair kit on my website that you can download all of these images for some cool crosshair effects. We're going to be using one of these for the video, so if you do want to go ahead and download one of these, just head over to the resources page on my website, and then from there you'll be able to find the crosshair pack, um, so you can see you've got it here just there. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the image that I want is going to be um, this simple little marker that I've got here, here already. It's just called Crosshair 1. With this, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to drag it into my main blueprints folder and I'm just going to put it in here. So just import it into the engine by dragging and dropping. This is a PNG file set up with transparency already, so we don't really need to worry about um, any import issues, settings, or anything like that. With this, what we want to do then is open up our FPS HUD widget, and we essentially just want to put it on the screen, slap bang in the middle. So let's go and do this. So inside of your FPS HUD, grab an image, drag and drop, and put it straight into the center. Anchor this to the very center so we know exactly where it's going, and then on the right hand side in the appearance in the details panel, set the brush to crosshair1 or whatever your image you've just imported is called. And then from here, what you also want to do then is just set the position to 0 and 0. Now the anchor point for this is pretty much in the top left hand corner. Uh, which is why sometimes 0 and 0 doesn't always work. So if it doesn't, what you want to do is simply set your scale up to something that you know is going to be uniform. So let's say 100 by 100. And then just manually go and drag it in to the center where you can see we've got this little anchor point marker. So zoom all the way in and then just drag and drop it wherever you want to place it. Now, due to some snapping stuff, just turn that off and then you can be a bit more precise with this and just drop it in the very middle of this little anchor point and I think, for now, I think this is just about going to have to do. So that looks good, looks quite nice to me. Um, so if I go ahead and press play now, we should be able to see the crosshair on our screen. Now bear in mind, it looks a bit too big at the moment and when we aim down our sights you can see that it's also still shown on the screen which is something that we don't want to happen. So what we're going to do is pretty much change the visibility of this and bind it so that it only shows visible when the player is not aiming down their sight. So having said that, what we need to do, first things first, I'm actually going to make this a uh, little thing a little bit smaller. It's a bit too big for a crosshair, I think. So I'm going to set this to something like 50 by 50. Zoom in, bring it all the way back down into the center again and just move it along. And now with this, what I'm going to do is open up my third person character and we've got to figure out a way that we can tell with the engine whether or not the player is aiming down their sights. So what we're going to do is go down here and we're going to find our aim down sights thing. So what you can see here, we've got simple deactivate, activate and change the movement speed. What we're going to do inside of here is create a new variable and we're just going to call it aiming. And then with this aiming, at the end of each of these, we are going to set the aiming variable. So drag and paste it in just like this after set movement speed and have one of these on both ends. At the top, the bit where it's activating the aim down sight camera, you want to toggle that, and then when they're not aiming, you know, when it's deactivating it, just make sure your aiming is unchecked just like that. So if we compile this now, what we can do inside of our FBS HUD widget, we can now bind the visibility of this to that variable. So scroll all the way down, and you can see we've got visible. Create a binding for this, just create binding, and then from this, you want to have two return nodes. So copy and paste this just like that. And then what you want to do is run a branch. And then the condition for this is going to be our aiming. As of right now, we can't really get that variable. So we need to cast to 
the third person character. Drag it along, make a little bit of extra space just like that. For the object, set that to get player character just like that. And then with the condition, we are simply going to get a reference to uh, aiming. So get aiming. And then what we're looking for, if we hook this up, if it returns true with this hooked up, what it's going to do is we're going to set this to hidden. And then if it's false, we're going to set this to visible. So if I go and compile this now, press play, right click, you can see it disappears. And then when we come out of that, you can see it comes back on the screen and that's all good. Now, one issue that we do have with the crosshair at the moment is that the bullets don't fire directly into the crosshair. That's something that we're going to be doing in another video. But right now, what I wanted to focus on was the visual side of things. So you can see that it disappears when we want it to and all of that good stuff. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.